I told you guys I would give you an update video when we knew more about the reprint set. I told y'all it would happen. I am a man of my word. Some of you watching this may already know the news. Some of you might not. So, let, as usual, like, comment, subscribe, and all that. But let me know in the comments what you think about what Bandai is doing with our version of the Rising Wind RBO1 set. It's wild. It's crazy. So here, here we have GTS Distribution, right? Um, GTS Distribution is one of the US distributors, okay? Uh, stores can order it latest by February 23rd, and the release date is August 18th, so far, far away. Uh, by the way, we're getting it after BT13 in Japan, literally just got it like this week, I think. I think, last week, whatever. All right, Rising Wind, special packs limited to 36 card types. These packs feature all new text and a limited number of card types for a greater chance to find rare cards. The character lineup focuses on the Digimon Ghost Game anime, and the set includes many cards of the new Digimon starring in this series. New packaging, okay. Packaging now includes a promo card in the set. One of seven. Uh, these are alt art design from the main series. One of these has a low pull rate, an alt art serious one. Get more peat buyers with this incredibly rare card. Great. Uh, so basically, uh, one of the seven promos is uh, like the Chase promo. That's cool. The set breakdown for us 36 cards, 10 commons. 12 cards a pack, by the way. 10 commons. Seven uncommons, 12 rares, six super rares, and one secret rare. Okay. And here you can see a further breakdown of how they're doing it. Okay, fine. Display product, great. All right, let's go over here. So this is Japanese, the Japan's official, you know, their, it's, it's their rising wind RBO one set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Can you guys count the 36? 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Oh, wait. 33, 34, 35, 36. There's your secret word, by the way. Right down there. This proxim proximum on, dude. Yep. And the rest is alt arts. There's 14 alt arts. Those are your 36 cards. Now, some of you inquisitive fellows in the chat might be asking about, oh, but go to page two. What about all the reprints? What about all these reprints? Oh, look at the reprints. The, the alt art memory boosts and the, like, the nice cards and like the, the security rookie. What, what, what will happen? What? Huh? Huh? Yeah. You have discovered the truth. Yes. Our, our set doesn't have those cards. You know what reprints we get? Uh, Agumon, Greymon, and one of these Pulse Mons. I think it's this one. Yeah, it's this one. One, two, three reprints in 36 cards. Technically, it's a reprint set. <laughs> oh, I'm in, I'm in pain. I, I'm in pain. This, this is wild. This was not the direction I thought they were going, to be honest. I thought they were either going to give us the whole thing, or literally all these cards would be box toppers at some point. That's what I thought was going to happen. Boy, was I wrong. I was very wrong. Wronger than I've ever been in this card game before. Okay, so... We're not getting reprints in our reprint set. A lot of cards that people were hoping, because they're expensive, you know... Magna, Angemon, Omnimon's Ward, others, hard to find cards, nothing. Security rookies, forget it, not happening. Uh, nah. T, uh, to be determined when I guess we get those cards. It's actually kind of insane that Bandai is doing it this way. Um, before I give you my thoughts on why I think Bandai is doing this, and why it doesn't matter anyway, let's go look at TCG Player real quick, because I want to show you guys the results of such things hello 
Thank you. Magna Andromon BT1. All right. Now, some of you might be saying, well, that's cheap, 28 bucks. So, I had an interesting little thing we saw on stream today where people were buying this card. People were buying this card today, all of a sudden. Boop, 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 boop. Hit 32 bucks. Uh, the previous day, barely anything. The previous day, nothing. Previous day, not a whole lot. Today, today it's sold again. Yeah, people were, people, people know. People know. It's not happening. Giving up hope. Uh, you can even look at freaking Omnimon's Wart Defeat. Either one, I think. Doesn't really matter. Um, here, look. 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 Look at it. Look at all the lack of uh, eight, eight sales today compared to three, five, three. You know what I mean, chat? It's causing impact on the markets. So before someone else, you know, makes market content about this and all that, I was here first. Just so everyone knows. I, I was here first. I We knew it. Whatever, I, the, I believe the quote I used was something in the lines of anything that's not reprinted in the reprint set will be expensive. Now, I wasn't thinking they weren't going to reprint the reprint set and it would affect things like Kaiser Nail, but, you know, that's, uh, that's funny. That's, uh, that's Bandai. Okay. This set. Thoughts. Honest opinions from me. You're going to buy it anyway. <laughs> the, the people that where, you know, they just wanted to do Yamamon cards or whatever, they're having the best time of their life because they don't have to fight through other cards taking slots, other reprints taking slots. They can just buy this product and build their deck and call it an easy peasy lemon squeezy, just like that. They can just do that. Uh, so they're happy. They're really happy about this. Um, and stores are going to buy the product anyway, and they're going to sell the product anyway because it's just, it's money. It's, People will need these cards. The Gammon Art type is good. The Jallymon Art type has potential. I can't help on Goromon, but you know what I mean? And to furthermore a point that I brought up earlier on stream as well, you know, if, let, let's say that this set is gone, long done. Okay, fine. Let's say BT16 comes around and they give us a brand new wave of ghost game support. What do you think is going to happen to the cards in this set? What do you think is going to happen to the sealed product of this set? It's going to have some inflation, a little bit of hype, a little bit of hype price. Um, so all in all, honestly, this product is so good, guys. I know people want the reprints. I know everyone in my comments, or most people, are going to say, this sucks, there's no reprints. And to an extent, I agree. The reprints really would have helped certain players of lower budget get certain cards. It sucks that Bandai hosed you here, uh, and it's not perfect. It is not. But the set itself, it is fine. That's my opinion, anyway. You're still going to buy it anyway. And if you're not, other people are, and it's going to be okay. That's, that's all I got for my thoughts on this. Let me know what you think in the comment section below, guys. And uh, we will see you later. Have a good one. Bye.